this this is the first record I've ever written by myself, essentially. Yeah. I've no I've never done that before. It was always I always had like just like Taylor or some like with Mass Murder, it was me and Leo. But yes, yeah. this, this is the first time where I ever set a goal to just write a record. Yeah. Well, I mean that was that was fucked up. I would say in in knowing you for as long as I have now, this record is like the most you sounding record. Like it's everything that I know that you like about that stuff. I like. It's all there. <laughs> And I don't like, I don't know that people knew most people probably don't know that about me. You mm. know, if you, if you just know me from twitching tongues, then I'm just probably singing guy. Yeah. To, to most people, but like generally I just want to hear, dun, 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 yeah. you know, I, that's all I care about. Well, I, I think that I, so when I was over there and like, I think you showed me, I guess whatever you had in your car or, or on your phone mm. and the first thing that I thought was like, this is the first time in one of your bands where like every song you showed me had a part that sounded like dying fetus. And I was like, we're off to a good thing here. This is. Yeah. Yeah. And and that was like, they were probably like, it would be hard to, to disagree that they weren't kind of the number one thing i was going back to when yeah it was like all right wh- what do i do next like what am i what is this song missing a dying fetus part yeah <laughs> was was generally the answer yeah well so i mean obviously back to be harder specifically i think mm-hmm. the other defining part of this being like you know obviously there's an intro to the record but this being like the first big thing going in obviously it kicks in right away which is great um, yeah, that that you know that took some convincing from for me by by the end. Really, um, I don't know something about it. I was like, do we do we mix the intro because there's an intro? So like there was a second where I was considering the sample ending and just coming in at God's hey, right? Da, 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 da. But ultimately, that that it's just like a for singles' sake. I think it's it, it worked out better that there was something there because yeah, most people heard that song first. Some people have will only ever hear that song. So yeah, yeah, it, it it worked out. And you got to have that, you know, double ride on the double kick. It's yeah essential, you know. Yeah, yeah I guess it, I guess it's essential. Um, the the other thing too that's like a defining bit of God's hate for me in this is that it goes straight into the Marauder. Like, when, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was that was, I think, the second riff at all written, written for the album. It yeah. was like, all right, I, I got this. Now, where do I put it? I yeah. think I think it's the verse of the first song, but I don't know. But yeah, that it ended up being the verse for the first song. So with with this song, too, like we was this one where you had because I think uh, I heard you talking in another podcast about maybe this song wasn't the one that the other guys thought would be the first song to put up. They didn't believe him. They didn't believe me, but I knew. Yeah. I had, I had a vision straight away. And like, I think if you, if you strip away the vocals, I can see how like, yeah, from, uh, from an outside perspective, you could be like, okay, this is just a song. Yeah. But, but I felt very strongly that when all was said and done, that this would be a, a single or an opening track. Yeah. I'm glad I I'm glad that worked out that way. Yeah. Well, I mean the it's like you know, arguably the oh uh, and you know, I don't know how you guys did the lyrics and stuff, but like the words make this song now as well. Like it makes it it ties it together so well. And like I again That was the hope. We you cuz that uh, that's the make or break thing with with a, a song that is kind of s- simple yeah even though it's it like some parts of it are simple but like structurally it is simple yeah but like in a in an effective way but if you're not saying things that that uh like lyrically it was like how do we call back to to like something like perseverance yeah in in a way that's less about unity and more about (laughs) like hey fuck you man yeah like Hey, unity, but fuck you. Like, was that was that was the goal? <laughs> well, I mean, I think since so obviously this was like the thing that took me. I was so happy with when I was over there because 
it didn't have lyrics on it at the time and i was just like mm-hmm. oh there's a song with heaps of splashes on it so totally and then i think the splashes ended up you know post after the lyrics and after everything ended up definitely being a, a defining characteristic of yeah. the song and then i think for like the f- the next year I think I was messaging you like every other month to be like, got to hear that splash that song. Splash song going. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I felt the same. I couldn't wait to hear the splash song. Yeah. Finish. But I'm glad Before it was be harder. Yeah. And I mean, I think the other thing too, is just like the, the, the lyrics of that chorus, like you got, you got a dope set of lyrics out of it. You got a dope shirt out of it. It's really, God, you know, what a shirt, man. Pay it off. Thank God for that shirt. Yeah. Shout out uh, Brendan from Mourned, who he and I worked meticulously on that thing, man. Right. It took like we- weeks of, of revisions <laughs> and like it looks relatively simple, but yeah. like it's because it, it, meticulous. I'm telling you. I am. Um, whenever it, it whenever it's outside on the washing line, I'm just hoping that the guy behind the back fence is just unity like, fuck yeah, and fuck brother. you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 